All right, the fund students, not systems phrase. Once again, getting the focus at the Idaho State House. A bill modeled from that phrase looks to give state education funds to individual families to help them pay for education resources that fit their needs best. There's a major hang up, though, from critics. The legislation allows Idaho tax dollars to be spent on things like private school tuition. It's been pointed out there's a good chance that idea is unconstitutional. Supporters, though, they argue it's simply getting tax dollars into the hands of taxpayers who are funding their students' education in the best way that they see fit. Today was decision day for that bill. Joe Paris details the legislation's fate and why lawmakers made that decision. It was decision day in the House Education Committee. The Fund Students Not Systems Education Savings Account bill finally got a vote after extended testimony and debate. After hearing from Idahoans on Monday, lawmakers made their final arguments before the vote that would kill the legislation or pass it on to the full House. Bill sponsor Representative Dorothy Moon began defending criticism that her bill would begin to defund Idaho public schools. The schools are still going to keep quite a bit of it. So we're not hurting the schools, contrary to what some people have said. They are going to be getting money without having those kids in the classroom. Co-sponsor, Representative Gayanne DeMordant, answered questions about whether the Hope and Opportunity Scholarship would be monitored as closely as public school funds. Parents and lawmakers expressed concerns about the oversight of funds sent to families to support their students' education needs. Where in this bill would make a private school accountable to all of our taxpayer dollars that we have been requiring for the last six years of our public schools. Where's that accountability? There are audits. There can be an attorney general um, investigation. Those funds are highly transparent and, and absolutely um, audited and, and reviewed in ways that, um, that perhaps not even our, our um, traditional public schools are. A major concern for critics remain constitutional questions about the legislation that would allow public funds to go to private education. As I read our Idaho Constitution, Section 5, sectarian appropriations prohibited, it's the law of the land. At least in sovereign Idaho, it is. Committee member Representative Barbara Ehart posed a question to Representative Moon about the precedent of a bill becoming law, even if it's in violation of the Constitution. You know, there's been a concern about religion and would there be a conflict within our state, with the United States Constitution and our Constitution. To your knowledge, do we have any other conflicts within our state that we seem to manage or, or get through? Representative Ehart, are you talking about constitutional issues? You mean like marriage? Or are those kind of issues you're talking about that we don't necessarily adhere to? Um, yes, there's issues that seem to be ignored in our Constitution. In the state of Idaho, we have things in our Constitution. There is a marriage amendment that is in conflict with the Supreme Court's ruling. So Idaho is in conflict. Our Constitution that we take an oath to is in conflict, and we follow the higher law. Representative Julie Yamamoto highlighted doubts that even if the program was legal, there appears to be more due diligence needed. It doesn't inspire confidence to me when some of my questions that I've had um, and my concerns, well, we have a, a year to work out the problems. That does not inspire confidence. In the end, the House Education Committee voted to keep the bill in committee, meaning it will not advance any further for now. The vote was close, with the motion to hold the bill passing 8-7 to seven on the chairman's vote. Okay, Joe, so a lot of questions alongside with this. I mean, if school funding is dependent on attendance, how can they say that schools will still be funded if people, students aren't there? But there's also this constitutional question that you were referring to. Yeah, and I've actually seen a lot of comments online and people in the Idaho politics world are questioning, oh, well, did Chairman Klo vote to hold the bill in committee because of constitutional questions? Mm -hmm. And I think that's kind of a, a leading theory. But Brian, we actually just spoke with Chairman Klo a few minutes ago, and I want to play a clip from him where he explains why he voted to keep the bill in committee. And as we established, it was his vote that was the deciding factor today. Personally, I don't believe that our Idaho Constitution would prohibit this. I think, in fact, uh, the U.S. Supreme Court has, has clarified what we can and cannot do in these types of programs. So that was never really an issue for me. Um, and I think that the arguments about that were pretty well settled. Look at the Constitution. I says the Constitution tells us what we must do in education. 
but it doesn't prohibit us. It, well, it used to. It doesn't prohibit us from also offering education savings accounts to students that want an, a different choice. And that's where I run into the problem. So how do we fund that and not take away from uh, the regular public schools? And I just spoke with the chairman again a few minutes ago, and the impression I get from him and other lawmakers is that they like this idea and they like the concept, but specifically House Bill 669, it wasn't written in a way and it wasn't created in a way that they think is the perfect way to do this. Uh, someone in committee referred to it as the gold standard. I think that was represented to Mormont, uh, Mormont, who was the sponsor. Uh, or chairman Close says he doesn't think this is maybe the gold standard. He'd like to see a different version of this come. Uh, there was concerns, as you heard him refer to, about taking money away from from public education, compromising that system. We heard that from other lawmakers, but um, we will likely see this again, if right. not a version this year, the next year. Um, the fund students, not systems idea will not be going anywhere, but it'll be interesting to see what it looks like over the next few years. It's that age old good idea, but not necessarily a good bill just yet. Yes. All right, thanks, Joe. Over on the House floor.